Hello, I'm going to show you this virtual experiment which is in this locked up lab here. It's an air track which basically is a track which has air pumped through it. There are small holes in the track here. Air gets pumped up through that and it means that this thing which I call a glider can move virtually frictionally, friction free along here and this way we can investigate some physics, in particular Newton's laws of motion. This uh, colourful gadget over here is a air pump connected to blow air through here and most things are controlled in the lab are bright red so that we can identify them and they'll change colour to yellow when we put the mouse over them. So if we click on that the pump starts working you should be able to hear it if you get up close to it you can certainly hear the pump going you've got a visual cue there of air coming through and this uh, air track at the moment isn't quite level so if we go right up to the uh, glider you'll see that it's moving very very gently downhill and there's usually a little bit of sound as the uh, air holes are uncovered the two things at the end are basically rubber bands which will bounce the uh, glider backwards and forwards on the air track. This thing here is a, a timer. It basically has a beam of light passing th from one end to a, a photo cell on the other and when the lights cut off this counter, this digital counter, will time it. And this is one way, as you can see the spot of light on the card there that's on the glider and while it's going through the timer will work and this is one way of levelling the table is that you can check how long that glider takes to pass through that particular timer timer gate and then wait for it to come down the hill if you like go through this one and obviously if the times are different then the track isn't level and there's a an adjuster here that you can raise and lower the track so that you can uh, try to get it level Okay, other things about this room here, here this, these particular things are attachments that enable it to bounce. You can use different ones which allow these things to glide into each other and then kind of attach themselves to each other so that you can investigate conservation of momentum. Over here is a projection board which you can control so you can see the notes of the experiment. If you're finding the room quite bright it's possible to uh, switch the lights off and then you can read it that much more easily and of course you can go right up to it if you want to. You can add an impulse to the glider here just by spinning the wheel mouse when it's on it and that'll give it a little bit of a shove that'll speed up and now you can probably hear it going over the holes of the glider of the air track quite well and here it goes through the timing gate here and bounces on the rubber band there and off it goes back up the track. The user can move these around as much as he likes and it will give a very fair introduction to how to use one of these in the lab and perhaps can even replace that where the user wouldn't otherwise get access to doing these kind of experiments. Okay well that's about it, we'll just turn the lights on You can see it's slowed down quite a bit going up the hill there. Okay, that's a 3D immersive simulation of an air track for investigating Newton's laws of motion.